moving on to task SS4, it says display the worksheet in data view. So right now we are in formula view. Let's switch off formula view and come to data view. This is data view. Uh, it goes on to say, Sammy wants the average profit on each sale to be between 3.30 and 3.50. Right now the average profit is 2.73. Okay, so he wants it to be between 3.30 and 3.50. Okay, so change the value of the percentage profit. Change the value of the percentage profit so that the average profit is between 3.30 and 3.50 the percentage profit must be a whole number okay so what they want us to do is they want us to change the percentage profit until the average profit is between 3.30 and 3.50 so what we'll do is we'll go up to 17 and we'll see we'll change this to 17 and let's see is it between 3.30 and 3.50 no so let's go to 20 it's above 3.50, so let's come down to 18 maybe. Still not. Let's go to 19. Yes, 19. When you put the percentage profit at 19, it's between 3.30 and 3.50. Okay. Then it goes on to say format the worksheet so that the currency values show the currency symbol with two decimal places. So over here, the currency values should show the currency symbol. Let's do that over here. This is the currency value. Uh, this is a currency value. I'm pressing the control key and selecting these columns. These are all currency values. I'm holding the control key and selecting these values. This is a currency value. This is a currency value. Uh, okay, that's it. So then I'm going to come to the home tab and I'm going to say make this a currency value, the US dollar value. Okay. And automatically you can see each of them are at two decimal places. But for you, if it does not happen, if it does not come to two decimal places for you, you can always adjust it from over here inside the home tab under the number group. You can increase the decimal points or you can decrease it to two decimal points. Okay. Uh, then moving on, it goes on to also say it is well presented and all data is visible. So what we're going to do is we should make sure our data is well presented. So since this is a heading, I'm going to center align this, middle it, make it bold, make it underline. We put a shading of light gray for it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put borders for this data, all borders, and then uh, maybe I could merge these, and then, oops, sorry, then I could make borders for these two as well, put a border for this as well, okay. So now the data looks much better. Uh, if you want, you can make a couple of columns a bit bigger, I just think you need to do that. Yeah, it looks much better. If you like, you can also do this. You can also center align your data, center and middle it. Okay, so uh, well presented and all data should be visible. So make sure all the data is clearly visible. Let's make these two also center aligned and middle aligned. Uh, okay, that's done as well. Uh, resave the spreadsheet, print the spreadsheet on one side of A4, showing the data. Okay, so this time we are printing showing data, not formula. So we can go to control P and uh, make sure your document is fitting one A4 paper. Okay, make sure it is page 101. Then the question goes on to say, uh, resave the spreadsheet and print. Okay, we did resave and we also will be printing the spreadsheet thereafter.